my channel for another vlogmas video. Tonight has been pretty chill and I decided to go ahead and do a little recording and just take y'all along with me as I go through my night routine. Honestly, my nights are usually pretty chill because after work, I'm usually mentally drained <laughs> and ready to just relax a little bit. So tonight, I watched some Dallas Cowboys football. We got the dub. I talked to my mom, my dad, and my sister. And I spent a lot of time scrolling through TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, my usuals. So now, we're about to do my skincare routine. And I don't even know if I should call it a routine at this point because I haven't done it in like three, four days. But honestly, my skin isn't looking too bad. Um, yeah, I have a few breakouts, but nothing major like it was a few weeks ago oh my gosh but maybe somewhere down the line in the vlogmas playlist i'll have an updated skincare routine for y'all but not tonight because i wouldn't even feel right telling y'all my skincare routine if i haven't been following it so let's go ahead and do our skincare stuff and then we can talk a little bit all right so put my face up a little bit use some hands I really don't do a lot of chit chat videos, but I honestly want to start doing more of them because I feel like I have a lot to say sometimes. But anywho, last night I was really just thinking about one thing. I was thinking about the results of stepping out on faith. And I honestly don't even know what spurred the thought, but it just was on my mind heavy last night. And I had planned on doing a Thanksgiving vlog where at some point I was going to talk about just the things I'm grateful for, all the blessings that have been thrown my way this year, because if y'all were with me last year when I started my channel and throughout Vlogmas last year, especially those early videos, y'all could really see how depressed and anxious I was like all the time. I was not in a good headspace when I was making those videos at all. And honestly, it's hard even looking back on them because I just can't believe I had allowed myself to get to that space because i have been feeling that way for months and that was probably honestly the worst i've ever felt probably since like 2018 because 2018 like fall of 2018 was honestly quite rough as well but yeah last year was so rough like the last part of the year and i honestly don't know how i made it through vlogmas how to given how depressed i was but YouTube was really a creative outlet for me because aside from writing, that was just a way for me to just take my mind off of everything. But yeah, so around that time last year, like probably around video eight of Vlogmas last year, no, actually my post birthday event session or something, I think that's what I titled it. Y'all could really see what I was going through. So if you wanna go back and watch that video, please feel free to do that. Cause I kind of go into like what I was feeling those few months um but now just looking back on everything i'm just so grateful that i'm in such a better space honestly this whole year has just been life-changing and i think no nah, i don't even say i think i know most of that was caused by my decision last year to quit my job because honestly i was just super burnt out at the time and it was just really taking a negative effect on my mental health and me i love being positive but i just I couldn't be positive during those those months because I was just just feeling frazzled and just drained from every little thing. It could be like little small things like going to the grocery store, not wanting to do that and feeling just stressed out about that. Just like any little thing that could frazzle me, definitely frazzle me. <laughs> but when I come my job, like I feel like I just had more time to myself to just really think about what I really wanted in my life. Let me watch this on my face. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. So I was thinking like, but as I was saying, I was saying that when I quit my job, I think I had more time to really think about what I wanted my life to look like. Because honestly, looking back on last year, I was realizing, well, slowly realizing that my life just wasn't turning out the way that I had expected to, expected it to. And honestly, that's really been the case since graduating college because when I graduated from Harvard in 2018, it's like I thought things were just going to get magically easier. But when you get into the adult world, you realize like 
it's definitely stressful sometimes more stressful than we probably even cut out for <laughs> at times but you know it's like all those trials like when you're transitioning from being a young adult to like a more seasoned adult can i call myself seasoned if i'm 25 i hope y'all get what i'm saying but yeah it's like all that little stuff there it it just kind of builds up your strength and the more experience you have with like just the obstacles of life it just kind of prepares you for any other thing that life can throw your way because like i was mentioning 2018 was hard for me for various reasons had a difficult breakup and was just really struggling and just kind of feeling like i was in a place where i should be i was in a grad school program for sports psychology after i graduated undergrad in 2018 and although i really liked the program i just didn't feel fulfilled like i was actually chasing my calling because honestly i wanted to be studying writing or i was just really curious about it and i just felt more fulfilled writing so thank god i actually made the decision to transition into a different program after that year was up but throughout that too i was also just struggling financially too and it just seemed like no place wanted to hire me because i was a grad student so my hours were gonna be kind of weird and then the jobs i could find i wasn't making a lot so here i am thinking oh at this harvard degree i'm about to make a big money but that was not the case for a while and so that was really stressful but that was 2018 and then last year I had some similar feelings as far as just like what I thought I should be doing with my life and just really not feeling fulfilled what I was doing because at the time I was still finishing up my master's program for writing at the time and then aside from writing I just didn't have a lot of things that made me feel happy because I couldn't find joy in my work no more I just couldn't I don't know, I just felt very stuck. I just wasn't living life the way I thought I should be. So taking that time to actually figure out what I wanted to do in my life between that one month that I quit my job and then the later, probably the next month, I started job searching again. I was really focused on writing because I thought maybe writing full time is what would make me happy. But honestly, <laughs> I think it showed me that I missed the stability of actually having a job. So I began my job search again. And luckily, I landed on the job that I have now. And honestly, getting this job has been life changing because it's finally put me in a place where I feel comfortable financially. And I was able to buy my parents' house and just kind of do more things that I wanted to do, like tackle my debt, buy things that I enjoy, like candles, books, whatever. And it's just, and when you're in a better place financially, I swear it feels like a lot of your stress is lifted. But even then, like when I was living with my parents and working at my previous job, I wasn't really struggling financially because I really didn't have no bills. I wanted my credit card bills, stuff like that. But, you know, like once you graduate college and you have these degrees and stuff, you don't feel like, but well, I'm not gonna speak for everybody. I know for me personally, I felt like, dang, I shouldn't be living with my parents still. I should be out here doing things my own way, being independent. I think that was also a source of my stress too. Just looking back on all that now, <laughs> I would say that I'm super grateful that I went through that because it taught me so much, but man, I swear that was rough. And <laughs> if I could go back and do it again, I definitely would not because that was a very trying time in my life and I don't want to go through that. So that was one of the things I was just really thankful for this Thanksgiving. Just thankful for the ability to step out on faith and knowing that God has me covered through everything. Because even in those difficult seasons in my life, I wasn't without anything. God, he supplied all my needs, even though I personally feel like I wasn't in a place where I should be. But God, he, you, gotta, you gotta trust his time. And I swear, like you really do. Because even if things aren't going your way, God, he knows what he's doing. He knows why he's taking you through the things he's taking you through. And I try not to question him even when I don't understand what he's doing, because quite often I don't understand what God is doing in my life. He knows more than we do. And I think during those times where you don't really know what's going on, your faith just really has a chance to grow because you have more experience in seeing God come through in ways that you probably didn't even think was possible. And as you continue to have more experiences like that, your faith just has a better chance of growing. So now, even though I'm in a much better place mentally, just looking back on those times, just it continuously makes me feel grateful because 
at any point, like even though I feel super content where I am now, like God can easily take away anything that I have now and put me back in a place that I was in before. And because of that, like you gotta remain humble. You can't get cocky, arrogant because of what you got. Because as easily as God can give you things, he can take them away. And I just hope that sharing this little piece of my story can make y'all feel a little bit more at ease. Because I don't know what y'all are going through, but we all go through things in life at some point. And sometimes those hard seasons seem to just drag on. But trust me, God, he has a point for all of them, even when you can't see that point. But yeah, that was really what I was thinking about throughout Thanksgiving. And just being able to be comfortable, content with where I am in life, and also just being surrounded by family because I spent so much time throughout college and then that first year of grad school when I was in Florida, being away from my family and now being able to see my family whenever I want to, like that's such a huge best for me. You know, throughout college, my undergrad years, it was really hard because I lost a lot of people that was close to me, like my grandparents, my Aunt Marilyn, my Uncle Dale, like all them, I lost them. And it just really showed me the importance of being around family and then there those times where I couldn't be around my family to mourn properly, heal properly. It was hard. So now I just love being surrounded by my people and I definitely don't take it for granted. Sorry, I feel like this is just going all over the place, but I hope y'all get what I'm saying. And I hope you find some comfort in the words that I'm saying. And sorry this isn't like a very, you know, pimpy video for vlogmas, but sometimes you gotta have these little chit chats. And I wanna do more of these too, because I feel like I have so many experiences that I can probably use to teach y'all something. But let me know if y'all have any thoughts, leave them in the comments below. And I hope to see y'all again here tomorrow for our next vlogmas video. And if you have any ideas on what we should be doing in vlogmas, let me know because I honestly don't have a, a strict schedule like i have some ideas of things that i want to do but y'all know me i'm a very spur of the moment type person i would change my mind in a heartbeat so yeah keep me accountable i'll talk to y'all later bye